Hi guys, uh, this is Animes Datta. Uh, this video tutorial is on how you you will connect your Colfusion application with different databases. So this is the Colfusion administrator. Okay. You can also open your Colfusion administrator in your local host. Okay, using the built-in web server of Colfusion, but I have here used IIS web server and this is the data sources part so if I go to that part okay. suppose the name of the data source is uh, like uh, magic magic and the driver I'm gonna use like my SQL or five okay so i don't need to write codes for those drivers in my configuration application all the drivers for particular databases are available in the configuration application so if i add here like first i need to check that is my mysql sorry uh, is my mysql is working so earlier I have installed them yeah if I go to here I can get the Zam control panel and I can look into this that this mysql is running here and Apache is also running another way to look is like if you go to run I am using Windows 7 if you type like this services dot msc it will give you a list of all the services running in your Windows I am using Windows 7 so I can also check that the MySQL is working or not so if I go to here I can see that my SQL server is working okay and uh, by default you are also getting the port that is the on particular that port 3306 port my SQL is running okay so the next step what I need to do I have given the data source name Uh, Colfusion data source name as magic okay so I am going here uh, in the mysql part I have created one table the name of the table is users with four columns I can give them names like user name first name last name and email id so the type is variable characters bracket 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 ok so uh, storage engine is uh, in ODV I can put some commands for the particular table like uh, uh, this table will contain user details save I can save this this is not a number ok there is some error I guess uh, let me check so this is not a number oops mm. there is some error I guess first and last name email id ok this check if I Okay, localhost 
81 says that this is not a number. So if I go, okay. Just a moment. Okay, if I uh, go to submit this, again, uh, the page at localhost 81, because it is running on 81, this services. So it is, it, it is not a number, so there is an error, I guess. Yeah, this field is empty, so I have to put something like uh, phone number. This is an integer. So now I can set this one. I hope this will work. Same problem is here. Uh, let me check what is the error here. Just let me check. Okay, if I want to set this table, yeah, the same problem is here. There is not a number. So what I can do, I can check like if I put some values for that particular columns, like uh, 30, here 30, here 30, here 30, phone number, maximum 30. So if I save this one, let's see what happens. Yeah, it is working. The problem was uh, for that I have not given the length of a particular column. So what I can do here, like this is the user still. Okay, I can uh, put some values here in the column. There is one note is that no index defined there are five columns if i use index for a particular column and i want to retrieve the data from database then uh, it will take less time to retrieve the data because if we do indexing in a particular table or in a particular column suppose i am going to index uh, on uh, username I am selecting username here and I am uh, using index for username so whenever I will search suppose there are millions of data I want to search a particular user so if I search by username then and I, I make it as index then it will take a less time to get a particular value from that particular table and I can also put that username as a primary key so primary key is a key by which we can identify a particular row from the table so I have created the table here and the uh, database magic magic of india and if i put the name of the database here the name of the database is magic okay putting the database name magic and uh, uh, the server is local host because i am using mysql in my computer local computer so server is local host username is uh, yeah earlier i have used that is why it is giving the suggestions username is root and password is blank and submit yeah if there is no error suppose if i don't give the username what will happen let's see if i submit it is taking time Colfusion is really a nice language and it also takes less time to develop your web applications. So 
there is an error like connection verification failed for data source magic so there is some problem with that interface and this is the com.mysql.jdbc so all the packages java packages we can say uh, java apis that the coefficient is using you can get those informations here also so it is also handled by coefficient so everything like uh, the jdbc drivers and connection to database everything is done by coefficient only so you don't need to think about a lot how to connect your coefficient application with your database let's see what is it and then okay uh, if i edit here uh, edit option is here edit magic so if i put the username here yeah so if i submit i hope it should work yeah data source updated successfully it is really good to see that it is working fine so if you want to delete the data source you can delete here and you can also verify and you can also edit and i am using this one okay and this is all folks this video tutorial is on uh, data sources so in my next video tutorial i will go into details of how we can work with ca query and uh, data sources like different databases mysql sql server here i am using mysql i'll go into the details with mysql only that's all folks